Hi guys, welcome to another Solid Bugs tutorial where I show you how to create thumbnails like this one directly in CapCut. If you like the video, click the like button to see more videos like this one. Let's get started. After a lot of work and many hours, you have finally finished your masterpiece for YouTube. The only thing missing is the right thumbnail, you think? You may not know it, but CapCut has a built-in cover editor that you can use to create thumbnails. Move the yellow playhead and search for an image that can be used as a thumbnail. Use the cursor left and right to fast forward or rewind a frame. When you have found the right frame, press the edit button. The cover designer dialog comes with some templates. Click on the arrow to download. Try the different templates and see what suits your background picture best. I won't waste too much of your precious time and choose the next best option. Now change the text to fit the purpose of your video. In my case, it is a CapCut tutorial video. Change the text size and position. Add a subtitle. Change the font if you want. When you are done, press complete. Now export the video. The rendering may take a few minutes, so be patient. Open the destination folder. Note that besides the video also a picture, the thumbnail has been created. So this is the thumbnail created using templates in the cover editor. To be honest, I don't like it very much. So I'll show you another way to create thumbnails directly in CapCut for PC. To start look for a frame that you could use as backdrop. I like this one. Next, export the frame as still image. Rename it if you wish then import the image to your timeline. I'll add it at the end to make it more visible for this tutorial. Next I'm going to add in CapCup logo. You can find many of them in the vastness of the internet. Import the logo and add it to the timeline. Scale the image and place it where you want. We can enhance this by adding more stickers, scale and rotate. Repeat the steps until you are satisfied. Add an optional title if you want. Select a text effect. Or select a template, then tweak it until you are happy. I think this is good enough for this tutorial. In the last step, we will edit the image to make the thumbnail stand out better. Click on the adjustment tab. Now use the sliders to change the color 
contrast, height light, and so forth. Watch the live changes in the player window and see what the sliders do. I think it looks pretty good already. I'm happy with the result of my thumbnail, which I created entirely with CapCut for PC. The last step would be to export the thumbnail. Use the export still frame command. From the drop down menu select 720p, which is the standard resolution for a YouTube thumbnail. Export. Open. In conclusion, creating stunning thumbnails in CapCut for PC is easier than ever. Remember to stay consistent with your branding and make your thumbnails visually appealing. If you haven't already done so, press the like button now. See you in the next video.